In this video, I will be showing you how to build a website using Totally AI, and this will include creating beautiful images with Recraft. Recraft is a new AI tool that allows you to create beautiful imagery for websites, basically from uh, any type of illustrations to high quality images that you can literally put on any website. And the best part, they will be all in one style. By the way, I'm not sponsored by them, but I've been using them. Someone suggested this to me and like, this is the best thing that happened to web design because especially for branding, you can literally put anything on any object and it will be very accurately portrayed there. So I think if you are lacking behind, if you're not using tools like this, you will definitely be without a job in like six months by far. So this is why I'm creating this video because I've been using this website and I think that it creates beautiful images. And But for now, for start, let's actually create a website for a yoga studio. And let's just type it here. So let's go to Lovable. I use Lovable for wireframing. It creates beautiful structure for the page. So I can just explain what I wanted to create. So let's create a website for a modern boutique Pilates and yoga studios basically describing some types of offering that I came up with and uh, focus on community and wellness. And yeah, so I'm just going to send that and see what it creates as for the first wireframe. So it created basically wireframe exactly what I needed. I didn't really need like the beautiful website because we're not going to be using Lovable to host the website. We're going to be using it to take all of the text and all of the uh, structure from here. So basically what we have right now is the structure with our offerings, find your movement. And the next step, I'm going to go to Webflow and I'm going to find a template that I'm going to be using to build out this website because we're not going to be building it from scratch. And as I said, I want a website with beautiful big images. So I'm going to click retail here since they have a lot of this kind of websites with this high quality images and stuff. Let's just click on that and see what we can find. So I think this template looks pretty cool. Let's just open it a few details here. And what I'm going to do is just preview it. So yeah, I think it's not bad. So let's click preview in Webflow. For this, I am basically will have all the edit rights that I want, but it will not be saved. But that's what I need. Just I need to edit the text and upload the new pictures and then send it to the client, record a quick video and say like, hey, here's how your website might look like. If you like it, I'll build it for you. And if he agrees, and uh, then I can buy this template and actually customize everything what he needed. So what I'm going to do is go to Pixabay to get a video. So let's go here. Let's get any random video for now. It doesn't really matter. Obviously, we can change that later once we to buy the template and get some videos. What I have to do is just click the right mouse and copy video address somewhere here. Uh, copy video frame, copy video address. Yeah, that's what I need. Now I go to Webflow, basically exit the preview. And then I can find the video here. So we can see a section here. Let's play embed. So I'll just play embed. And then I have this snippet of code that I can upload the videos to the background. So I'm going to go like this. And I'm just going to replace this link here with the actual link to the to the website that I need. So let's click save. Obviously, if you refresh the page, the video will not be saved. So you will just have to use it for demonstrative purposes. Basically, so what I have to do is just click the position, then click absolute. And in the Z index, I'll just do minus one. And now I just have to do the height of 100 VH. And then the width, let's say 106 pixels. Or even less, a little bit less. So right about here. And now I need to add some kind of overlay to this image. So what are the overlay? What we need to do is add this thing here. So let's add opacity. And now we have this image. Let's just make sure that the embed, the opacity is around 60% and that would be good, good enough. So let's save that. And now we are good. We can just change the logo here. So let's say more Roman. And obviously we don't need a card here. So we're going to get rid of that. And let's delete the shop button since we wouldn't want to have that as well. And like right now we can just change the text to have find your movement. 
and let's do that so find your movement and for the buttons we'll have start your journey so let's do that start your journey here and the other button we have view schedule let's see if we have the other button here yep we do have so let's place that there as you can see the video here is currently like lagging but that's okay what i'm thinking to do is a little description so let's copy this thing here and let's just actually add some kind of district description so let's copy boutique pilates yoga studio offering expert instruction studio or let's just have like a short description of the of what they do that would be good enough i think boutique pilates yoga studio so we have it here maybe we can even move it up in layers above the thing so kind of like this and now we can scroll down to for these two images here basically telling their services so what i would like to do is make a duplicate of this to have the three rows basically remove the collection list so now we can change the text and images let's find let's create actually our first image with breadcraft so let's go to recraft.ai and hopefully i do have credits if i don't I will actually include a link down in the description and I'll just get free credits to use on Recraft. If any of you signs up, it's not paid or anything. I don't even have paid subscription here. So let's go create a new project. So let's just create image set and now I can select a style here. So for the style I will use, what is this feed thing? Oh, let's go with normal photorealism that's what we need here so let's click on that and for this we'll just go to lovable and see what it spit out for us so go here and uh, performance pilates i don't know if it's the correct way to pronounce it so let's do it like this met pilates i hope it knows what it is because i don't really know what it is performance met pilates okay and now and let's actually find you know, like general pictures. So maybe for the home, for the hero section that in the future we can use yoga and this word. So like this. So it generated these types of photos and I think we can use them as the first option. We don't really care that much. So what we can do is copy link image and then open it here. And now I will try to actually get the real image link, copy image address. Yeah, this should work now. So once I'm here, I can just place this link here to get the real image. Yeah, so we got the image. Obviously, let's get rid of opacity or we can keep the opacity, but may make the blog dark. So we have that kind of thing and for the image size let's do like let's do it here so we can do 100 1000 px not too much so let's do something like like this and obviously let's align it a little bit better Nope, um, we need to do is to move it here, I guess. Yeah. So, Pilates will say something like, and I think that's too much opacity. So, let's do like 80, 85. The first link would say performer, performer Pilates. Let's put that there. Performer Pilates and let's just duplicate this image. So we need this category block duplicate. Yeah, so now it seems to work. Now let's go ahead and change the images. So Matt Pilates will be this. And the final will say yoga. Let's copy that as well. And now let's just upload the new images from Recraft. Basically, we got the, the thing how to actually get those images. So for the second images, copy image link to the clipboard. 
Ah, it's just copy image to clipboard. Uh, wrong move. Let's do this. Copy image link. Right. Get that link. Get that image. Copy image address to here. Let's go back to Webflow. Let's paste op open our code and paste straight up into this. Save it. And here we have another image. But why it's not matte highlight is I think it got it wrong. So let's see another image that we got here. I think that this is it. Oh no, this is yoga. Pilot is on no. Let's just recraft it on Matt. Yep, yeah, uh, that should be it. Hopefully it will work. But for now, let's get that image link, the third one, and we can paste that in. Let's get it. Copy image address. Paste it straight into this. And here we have three images, three custom images. That can be in our colors. So obviously, we can choose the colors of the website in straight into WeCraft. Ooh, man, that's something's wrong, I guess. I'm not professional like a yoga artist or a Pilates, but I think that's not supposed to be that way. This one is closer. I do think that there are some problems with the lags, lag still, but hopefully it will be all right. So let's put it straight into here. Let's copy image address as well here and paste it inst instead of this. And now let's just paste it here and save it. Yep, so here we have very simple three two page website that we can send to our client and say, hey, if you like this, and I just want to create one more option with the thing here. So instead of having, we need just one option for the first here section. So let's just do that. Let's create one more image. Oh no, first we will have to just actually make sure that it is different layout, a different like this. So let's use 16 by nine or four by three and j then just click yoga here gym let's say yoga gym and see what it does so this is what we created let's copy image link obviously the gym is empty but it's okay we can just copy this copy image address and paste it inside our framer instead of this video oops almost ruined everything so remember if i refresh and then I'll have to redo everything. For the video, I'm not sure if I can just put like the picture here because it says video. What if I just put the picture? Obviously, it will not work. Yeah, because that is the video. So we're going to do the picture instead. Uh, here we have our code. Just paste the picture, go back, copy image as. Copy image address, select this, paste, and here we have, very cool. Let me know what do you think about this process, and if you want more videos about Webflow, Lovable, and Recraft, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.